Hello everybody and welcome to another community fortress. This fortress was sent in on the Discord by PA90 and it goes by the name of the Singed Castle. If you would like to send in a fortress for me to have a look at on this show, you can do that via my Discord server. There's a link down in the description. And if you would like to check out the fortresses that people have uploaded for this show, all of the links are available in the DF Save sharing room. And that's of course where you will submit a fortress if you would like to send in a fort. Send in a couple screenshots, a short description, as well as link to a zip folder of the fortress. If you're using a bunch of mods, please also include your mods folder Otherwise, it's like a 60-40 chance I won't be able to load it, and there's one very heavily modded fort that I've never been able to load at all. So, um, hopefully, if you are using a bunch of mods, just include your mods folder. So this particular fortress, the Singed Castle of the Lords of Dragons, is a volcano fortress. It's got kind of like an interesting layout, too, and it, things are kind of positioned in ways that I I haven't really done myself. So it's not like people don't do this, it's just I it's it's in ways I haven't seen before. So whenever I set up a volcano embark, I always like usually have the volcano kind of like in the middle of the map. The volcano over here is like all the way down in the bottom corner, which is just kind of a, a little bit of fun here. We're gonna have some machines that we get to decipher and poke through while we go through this fortress, but I don't know, I like the location of the volcano. It, it, it kind of, especially considering it's like down the cliffside a bit. So instead of being like all the way up at the top, it's like kind of further down, meaning that like they're pumping lava up out of the volcano instead of like most volcano forts that I like usually that I end up embarking on. It's, I, I end up just like pouring the lava over the side. So I just think that that's kind of a, a fun toy and some, something that's interesting to play around with. Now let's move into the fortress itself and uh, take, take a look-see, shall we? So we got this road uh, made out of, what, what material is it made out of? It it is made out of marble. Is it made all out of marble? It kind of looks like it's made out of marble. Yeah, so we got this marble road that goes all the way from the bottom of the map all the way into the fortress. And then there's this tiny little side door here, which um, goes up, 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 and uh, up, 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 up. Where actually does this go? Does it just kind of go up to the top? Okay, so I'm assuming this is just for traders. It's just like a way to get around the insanity of trees um, because there's they're just kind of everywhere and they're very dense. So I could see like wagons getting caught up in this and not being able to get through, which, you know, is never really optimal. Now, the actual front door here, we have this little lava puddle, uh, which is lovely. It's got a bunch of little pumpies uh, here, which pump the lava up from this little reservoir here. It's, of course, powered uh, from this set of water wheels that we will be getting to in a moment. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's a little lava pump. So something that's kind of fun about this is if, if you were to, like, go, like, one layer higher with these and just have, like, a little drawbridge or a set of uh, floodgates or something right in front of these pumps and just have them sitting there and pumping indefinitely, you could actually, like, make some pretty effective cannons just by, like, essentially a uh, pump, open space, and then a... Um, uh, a drawbridge or a floodgate right there and just have the pump just pumping the lava into that tiny little tile for you know however long and then when you lower the floodgate it literally goes doosh and we'll just like fire it out so a little pro tip if you're uh, kind of just you know pumping lava into a space like this you, you might have some fun with that uh for it seems to run pretty well too it's it's currently running and it's sitting at you know like a pretty steady 50 frames uh when i was running it before i was recording it was running at about 50 frames which is pretty fantastic for 191 dwarves so absolutely awesome i'm still running the experimental branches here apparently the experimental stuff is supposed to be moving into the main branch soon tm they, they said last week but then it didn't happen last week and now i'm back from vacation so i just would like to let you know kit fox it is now acceptable for you to patch the game again because i'm home meaning i can make videos in a reasonable amount of time now anyway as we go down into the fortress itself there's cage traps in this lovely little quartzite bridge patchy floors but not going to ruin anything uh baddies tend to like hug the walls when when they're walking into an area so uh, cage traps along the edges there's pretty smart and then there's a uh a, a detect bear to detect any enemies that may be uh attempting to uh, assault the fortress as well as the oh man you didn't name the raccoon that's a shame i i would i would have named the raccoon like uh, uh rakdar or something uh, instead of radar you know mm -hmm. or beardar mm -hmm. anyway uh we, we've got this uh this uh, st uh, trading depot here for trading and then all the way around here we've got a set of uh, traps and then there's some soldiers here training that are completely decked out in copper now I know some people are just like no you need iron no you need steel you need bronze you need uh, yeah you do but like dwarves actually get by pretty well with just copper believe it or not so um, like they'll have some trouble against enemies that are entirely clad in steel but you know honestly it, it's if as long as they're skilled the second better materials show up they will swap over immediately um, we've got uh, a set of 
um, get like containers here full of crafts from the looks of things. And uh, we can start to zoom out a little bit. If I hit Z, we can see that we have an animal training zone. This is our barracks, of course. And then we have another animal training zone up here uh, where all of the, I, I was gonna say, I'm assuming cats are, are uh, pastured, but there's nothing actually pastured here. Um, I will say, I don't fully understand why, why people pasture cats in spaces. Like, you, the, the, the pests are never gonna actually eat enough um, for that to be an issue, but at least not in the current game. Where was I? I lost my spot. Oh boy. Um, oh, here. That, that's... Yeah, that, that's where we were. So there's some stairs going up here, so we're gonna pop up one layer, and then we have, I'm assuming, kitchens. Yep, and then there's, there's, an, there's another pasture zone here with a cat in this one. And then this one over here just, you know, has some, has some birds. Um, and then I can drop down, back down a layer, and we can begin moving into the fortress. So central stairs right here. One going up, of course, and then going down. So we can go down a little ways, and then there's another central staircase that goes down. There's a big aquifer here that's that's been channeled, so there's a lot of splution going on down here, um, which I'm assuming is all like flowing down here and into here. So we'll keep an eye on those and see where those end up. Once again, this is the power uh, like axle from before that we were looking at, and we can move down. We can still see the main staircase up here. And then we get to this, which is pumping lava from over here, uh, which is coming from all the way down here. Keep in mind, you don't actually need to put these floor grates in, um, but uh, you know it, it will, air quotes, keep things a little bit safer. Um, my, my preferred method of keeping things safer is just simply pumping it through a grate, but you know, I, I've also, I've, I've, I've not actually seen anything topple um, a screw pump in this version of the game, but keep in mind in older versions of the game, um, if you did have open spaces here, um, or didn't have a fortification here or something, and something swam through, they could topple your entire pump stack, which was kind of awful <laughs> if you had like a, you know, let's just say an 800, uh, or not 800, let, let's just say like a 70 layer pump stack that you just finished building, and then some magma man comes in and topples it, it was, um, it was a little bit uh, distressing. Anyway, um, over, over here we, we have uh, this little pump, or not pump, this little uh, water wheel setup, which is flowing off the edge of the map. This is a very good water wheel setup. I, I personally would have attached it on the side here and gone with gears down the side and then done three in a row and instead of like putting a wall in the middle. But hey, you know, if it works, it works, right? Um, water is coming from here. Um, all the way from here. So it it doesn't look like there's a lot of water flowing, but it's actually flowing quite quick because um, it's all coming from that aquifer. So that's just gonna flow down and then off the map, which is pretty cool. Um, and then over here on this side, this water is flowing down, 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 and uh, sprinkling through the fortress, which I, I also really like this setup. This is a really nice way of doing things. Although, why is there so much stuff right? What? 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 what, what what's happening right here? Oh, there's a bin. Just like completely full of clothing. Okay. Um, anyway, let, let's move back up a little bit and let's follow the that staircase into the fortress once again because we do actually have a couple staircases. We have this one over here and this one over here. And I'm not actually sure which one's the main one. So I'm just going to move down and we'll just pick one. Let's go up to here. So we have this, uh, you know, little, little guild hall right here. We have a lovely little farming zone, quite like this farming zone. Very well organized. Uh, it's got a few more spots that are ready to go as well. And I'm assuming what they did here was they, they went to this upper area and dumped water with buckets, I would assume. Um, an artifact has been created. A llama will cloak. Well, that's lovely. It's so nice of the dwarf to offer it to the Lords of Dragons. That's a good name, by the way, the Lords of Dragons. Up here we have uh, magma forges, complete with some uh, quantum stockpiling setups going on here. Uh, set up to make steel, which parses the question, why are they using copper on the upper layers then? Um, over here we have some artifacts behind uh, some lovely gem windows. What kind of gems? Uh, single cup pyrites and cespertines and pyrites. Well, that's pretty. Um, then he, down here we have a lovely prison setup. This is a very wonderful prison, actually. And I, and I and I don't say that ironically. It's like like these dwarves are willingly going in here just to grab a drink. Like they they really like this prison. But I, I'm assuming that um, because of the high quality of this prison, with like you know they they both get uh, a plant pot and then ideally a full pot of wine. Um, they, add, as well as a bed and a very nice copper chain, as well as a cha ta a table and a chair, hmm. table and a chair. On my vacation, I forgot how to speak. Uh, a table and a chair. Th this means that like they they will get the repentant thought and they will be interested after being near a fine seat and interested near a fine restraint and they'll be happy because they're getting their booze and all that and that that will actually improve their moods. I know a lot of people are kind of like iffy about setting up prisons in Dwarf Fortress, but like 
trust me, it's it's worth micromanaging like your mayor to make flasks and spears and bucklers and whatever the heck else they want you to make. It's worth micromanaging that because of the mood positive buff you get for the rest of your dwarves in the fort. Because every single time a dwarf commits a crime, like a tantrum or something, and they get arrested, every dwarf that that dwarf negatively affected gets like paid back for that, essentially. So they get like a little happy thought saying like, oh, person who wronged me uh, was punished with a conviction, and I'm going to sip some coffee. And that's a thought that you really want your dwarves. You really want them to be like happy that somebody else is getting, uh, is suffering because they hurt you or whatever. Down here, we have a whole bunch of statues as well as slabs, which are always lovely to see. And uh, then we have these really big dormitory. Um, I am assuming that's where the majority of dwarves sleep. And over here, we have uh, some, some more guild halls and 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 a tavern. And the tavern has a... Um, a, a, a pump setup uh, powering a very nice little mist generator. It's a very quiet tavern. There must be a tavern elsewhere in the t in the in the fortress that I'm missing. Uh, up here we have a little library called the Aegis Library, which does include 120 books. That's that's nothing to scoff at. That that's a good amount of books. As we continue to move down, uh, we move into the sleeping quarters for the remainder of the dwarves, um, which is interesting because it's like, why, why is there such a big dormitory when we also have all of these bedrooms? But I do have to say, these are very nice bedrooms. Personally, I would have tiled the floors because I'm weird like that, but um, very well-detailed uh, walls as well as glass and glass boxes. Since these bedrooms are so big, I would just go through and just make everybody two statues and uh, give them an armor stand or weapon rack while, they're, while you're at it. Like, deck, deck out their bedrooms. Like, make them happy. Like, some of these ones up here these ones have that and they're actually smaller so i, I don't see, see see why you can't just you know give all of these dwarves uh, a little bit more space here then right here i'm assuming this is for making obsidian fill this lower layer up and then dump lava in works just fine um not the most efficient method of making obsidian but you'll absolutely be able to make plenty of obsidian that way uh it's the old school minecraft method uh we move down there's a, a yet another layer like this somebody's messy and leaving their clothing out there um is there a tavern over here that I'm missing? Oh, there is a dining hall. Ah, there we go. So we have a tiny little dining hall as well as the deep throat. Uh, please don't demonetize me, YouTube. Um, anyway, so it's it's the it's the, uh, the the chasm of place where you insert alcohol. Definitely mm -hmm, nothing else. Uh, that l lovely little tavern, also good name. That's very amusing. Um, and then down here, the lustful dragon, uh, which is also a very good name for a uh, a tavern, which uh, seems to have a human, uh, two naked human performers, um, which is always good. Um, and you know, of course, it's complete with uh, a bunch of bedrooms for 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 places uh, for for people to stay. In. Although it's not that popular. There's not that much going on here. There is a bunch of musical instruments set up, but um, no one's partying. Um, anyway, so let's move down a few more layers. And uh, we kind of have uh, this these kind of uh, lava shoots kind of flowing in a few places. And then there's this bedroom down here, which uh, belongs to the Hammerman. Um, which also there's this one, which is the Dungeon Master. And this one, which is the uh, Dungeon Master's spouse, I think. And then there's this one. Wait, hold on. I guess all of these are assigned to the dungeon master. That's the captain of the guard. I don't know how I feel about this roommate situation for the captain of the guard and dungeon master. I mean, come on, you can like set these up a little better. Mm, I don't know if I would do it that way. Not 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 my shtick, but you know, you do you. And uh, then as we scroll down, there's this little stairway over here in the corner, and it just kind of goes down, 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 down. And to quote that video from a while ago, it do go down, and it just keep going down, down, down. Hey, actually, hold on. Is there like actually a spot up here that I can look at? Ah, no. Okay, see, caverns are just sealed off. I get you. And then it do go down, it do go deeper, and then that's as deep as it go down to the lava sea. Lovely little fortress. Absolutely lovely little fortress. I, I really, really, really like the like the naming schemes you got going on here, and the placement of that volcano is just different than I normally end up embarking on because I, I always try and get the volcano in the center. So that's kind of actually giving kind of a, a neat look to things, just with like the, the the mountain kind of sliding down to the side of the volcano. And look, frozen water must be winter. Um, it definitely is winter. Spoilers: it was winter. But I, I also really like the, this gardening setup you've got up here and uh, the of course inclusion of the statues next to the slabs is always lovely. And yeah, it's a creative little fortress. I And it runs very well, considering you, you do have the monarch, you do have the duchy, and you do have the barony. Good luck becoming a mountain home. And uh, I just want to say thank you once again to PA90 for sending in this fortress. Something I would like to mention before I close out this video is that I'm going to be hosting a mayor's office and bedroom 
and dining room design contest. I literally have the video halfway edited in behind the scenes. I'm just trying to get something out today so there's something on the channel, but keep an eye on that for the next day or so. And uh, also updates are coming to Dwarf Fortress very, very soon. I'm told by a, a little uh, rabbit in the, uh, that down the grapevine, uh, they've actually updated the experimental branch once this week. So uh, there should be something in the main branch soon, TM. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.